I'm John Cox, University Librarian at NUI Galway, and my job is to manage and lead the library, and a large part of my time goes on the archives. We put a big emphasis at NUI Galway on acquiring, but also preserving and really making use of archives. I mean, there's a warm welcome up in our reading room, which is a beautiful place, as I think you'll see, and the, the archive staff are really accommodating. They're always keen to help and to share their knowledge and to, to offer a warm welcome to visitors especially. So our digital archives are particularly in the area of theatre, so I think that the, the flagship one would be the Abbey Theatre Digital Archive. We also have recently digitised the Gate Theatre Archive. And I think the interesting thing about digitising an archive is it's possible for somebody to search the whole archive at once in a way that isn't possible in paper format. So a lot of people have said that we've changed how Irish theatre scholarship is done by opening up the access to the archive. And so I think when you digitise, you take a further step towards preservation that's something we take seriously at the University. We're not just doing it for NUI Galway, we're doing it for the nation and the world at large. Uh, we've just digitised the archive of Michael O'Shaughnessy, a famous engineer and graduate of NUI Galway. That will be fully available. We don't like to just stockpile archives. You know, when we get them, we catalogue them, we, we get the funding to catalogue them and digitise them where we can. Emphasis as well as on the use of the archives is on the correct storage of them. Because if you so this only gives you an archive, they give it to you forever, not just for a week or two or for a year or two. You need to store it forever. And our archive stores uh, are they've got really good environmental conditions. They have stable temperatures and relative humidity within certain ranges that are necessary to store paper forever. I think if you've got really good storage facilities for archives, it makes a huge difference because something we used to find before we had these really high quality uh, storage areas was we had to go and ask people for archives and hope that they would consider us and also we paid people for them. But we have very rarely paid for archives in the last four years. Mary Robbins, for example, the President of Ireland, her archive has been valued at 2.5 million but she sees fit to donate that archive to Venue I Goal because she knows it will be well looked after. That's, I'd say, more important to her than the money and donors tend to look at it that way. The Conrad Nagelga archive, which we received recently, that again would be a very valuable archive, but that was a donation too. So uh, I think you know, having the right facilities, the right people and the right environment for using archives and the philosophy that is geared towards promoting their use encourages people to give you archives rather than ask for money.